now here we can get the dynamic parameter that is our slug so i could say const router use router and then i can just have here slug from params and then i can make the api call to get that specific item or in other words the blog articles based on the slug so in the api we just need to have to use this route forward slash item and pass this item that could be a slug or id of the item so here i could say const data and then use sync data and here again i can use the slug as the key and then here i can return first i need to get the class so const garchi helper equal to new garchi helper that will come from the utils server utils garchi and then i could say return garchi helper dot get i think it's a get request yep so that would be garchi get request to item and whatever the slug is cool now also i can get the error one because in case if there is no uh, article found then we can just go back over here and display a 404 so for now let's just console.log this data and also console.log the error we will try to create the error and see how can we handle that so let's go back over here click a single article let's go with this one and then in the console here we just need to look for that Oops, the error was because of this it should be route not router so yep so use route from params then we get the slug and we make the request we also need to remove this forward slash yep there you go and here we have the article so if we see we got the id we got the slug the name then these are the e-commerce details so we can ignore these but this is our one line description and here is actually our blog article now we will use dom purify to clean this so that we can prevent xss attack and let's try to clean it on the server so we can create a server component for markdown and then try to use this apart from that i think uh, the categories are useful as well and the meta as it is will have the art i uh, author and other details and then the main image would be the feature image we can show it if it's there so let's use these details now but before that also let's try to create an error so let's say we have four now this article doesn't exist for us so if you go over here it will say the selected item is invalid for the error data error so this in the api it is getting it at an error so we also need to make sure that in the data if there is an error then we throw 404 so let's handle that case as well so this is the way according to documentation as well to create the error or throw the 404 error so we can just we can just use the create error that comes with the h tree and this utility is available globally so what we will do here is we will say if error dot value so if there is any value in the error or data and if we go over here we just need to look for data dot value dot error data dot value dot error so if there is this key data dot value dot error if this if it's there then in that case we just throw create error status code of 404 and message will be article not found okay let's give this a try so if we go back over here and there it is article not found perfect so let's now render the normal article let's install dom purify so here i want to install dom purify now when it comes to the server side one we need to for instance with the node.js one we need to install dom purify and JS dom both together and then we need to use this logic where we sanitize the whatever the data it is and then we use this clean data 
for the markdown. The other way is to use isomorphic DOM. So if this doesn't work, then we can go with the isomorphic DOM solution. So let's go back over here. Let's stop the server for a moment. I'm gonna say npm install DOM purify and JS DOM. And then I will also get this code. So this will be in the markdown. So I'll be using this in the markdown. So what I'm gonna do inside components, I'm gonna create markdown.server.view. And to have these server components in action, we need to make certain changes in our Nuxt config.ts. So here component is island, sorry, component islands. We just need to set it true in the experimental uh, configuration. And then we can go to this component over here use vbase setup. Now, when this video was recorded, the re reactivity part of server component is still in the testing phase. So it's not really there yet. So the reactivity won't work. So we need to manage that using props. So what I'm going to do here is create props, define props, and I will use markdown. That's going to be string then what i'm going to do is get those things that we just copied so first i need to change them now these are common js syntax i need to change them into uh, es6 or es67 whatever that syntax is so import create dom purify from dom purify and import js dom from js dom so these two can go now so we have, as this is server side component, so again, the hooks won't work like on mounted and all those hooks won't work. So here I need to pass props dot markdown. Now, whenever there's a change in the server side component, then this will make under the hood, a network request or an API call to the server component to get rendered again and send it back to the browser. So here, what we need to do is we need to say vhtml and pass this clean one over here. So we can go back to the slug component, sorry, slug page over here. Let's get rid of these two. And here, let's try to first render the markdown. So I'm gonna say markdown, and then we, I'm gonna pass markdown, and that will be markdown, and that will be this one over here. So within that data, so this data is an array, if you notice, we just get one element. So I'm gonna say data dot data, assuming that it exists. So I'll put a question mark if it doesn't, uh, that's zero element. So that will be like this. So I'm gonna say description, perfect. So also here we can give some, let's use tailwind typography. Perfect. And oh, before we run the server, we also need to add it in our Tailwind configuration, this one over here. So let's go to Tailwind config.js and within the plugins, let's add this one. Now let's go back over here, npm run dev, and let's add that pros utility on our markdown over here, sorry, sorry class. So class, as we are using dark theme, so I just need to use pros invert. Okay, there is our markdown, but somehow it's not getting those tailwind classes. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add pros and then pros invert. And if you notice, like this is all working great, but the problem is it has taken just half width, like there is minimum width. So if we just double like inspect this and see uh, this part over here, like that entire container, this one over here. So you will notice like in the classes somewhere, it has a minimum width somewhere given. So we just need to get rid of that max width, sorry, not minimum width, max width. So what I'm gonna do is gonna say max width of full. And that should take the entire width, perfect. Now this is our article, now let's render other parts as well. So I'm gonna go back over here to the slug and then I'm gonna use max width on this. So max for Excel, yeah, this looks good. Then MX auto to bring it in the center 
and then some padding maybe of 10 perfect now then i will add my title at the top the blog, uh, article title so here i will add the title or uh, keep text gray or instead i will use text light there you go now let's add other details as well and we will have the image as well before the title so here i'm going to use next image and here i will use src will be main image main underscore image and what i will do is i will add an image for this so that we can see also we need to change this one so let's also do that so use seo meta title this one description is one liner image is main image url uh, we can give it later og title is this one the name of the sorry title of the blog article and yeah sorry og image as well so that should give good image over here sorry title over here and let's go to this one our garchi cms let's add an image over here so manage images so i just got this random image from pixabay <laughs> so let's just save this sorry and there you go the image should have been added by now so if we reload this and there we have it so let's add some classes to this image so i'm gonna to go over here class will be rounded lg perfect object center object cover and width of full right so there it is the image is there then we have the article over there so what i'm going to do is let's use let's see flex flex column and gap of five perfect so this is all great next we have after the markdown component or before the markdown component actually we should have the author and details over here so what i'm gonna do is use computed property again so just gonna reuse this code over here uh when we get the list of blog articles within the blog component to the one over here so actually we could keep this and use this as a hook so we don't have to write this again and again so let's do that here i could say use meta.js so here i could call it use item meta or something that's fine export default function use meta let's call it use item meta so it's not confusing use item meta let's call this over here as well and what we will do is get this from here put this over here and simply return this meta details and to this use meta we just have to pass this item meta so i'm going to call this item meta like this item underscore meta and then it will do the job hopefully so let's go back over here uh first let's comment this line let's double check over here first within the cart component over here so let's close these files so this will become like this let's grab this one over here and we will have use met item meta this one okay so let's see if we go back to the plot page if we can see the meta detail there we have it so we could see the date we can convert this date using moment or dejs and make it into a human readable format that's not a problem but at least we should see that we can see the details so let's go back to this one over here there is one glitch actually if we click on here you'll notice that it throws few errors so one is 404 and the other one is this next image error so what we will do input must be a string so what we will do is believe it's just not available when reached till this point so what i'm going to do is v if over here so we'll only see show the image if 
this exists and for now let's remove that view from here let's keep it only at the image level so if we go back reload the page go over here okay so now the next problem we will see is this one over here so it's undefined HTML. okay it's trying to make the request now if we notice the error again if we go back over here you will see that in the console uh, when i click over here you'll see that it's showing undefined item headless cms so this part undefined is because if i go to the garchi helpers they are supposed to run only on servers and this unit's runtime config has all the keys which are server side only they are not public so there is no uh, if i go to next config ts which this is which is this one over here there are no public keys like you'll see they're all private keys sorry server uh, server side keys so what we need to do is as this use async data is not exactly like if this we are making a call first time it will run on server for sure but it's not exactly like if we make a call on the second time let's say someone navigates using next link or something like that like how we are doing in that case it won't run on the server it will still run on the client so what we need to do is make a call on the server side so anyhow we will need our own apis so here i will take two so blogs.get.js and or what we could do is something like this blogs then index.get.js and then we will have new file again which will be slug.get.js like this and all we need to do is get this piece of code from here post it over here so export default define event handler async function and just simply return this with await and get this one over here perfect and let's go to this one as well so export default define event handler async and this also instead of items that will call over this api over here this one almost there and we can get the slug by using const slug even dot i think it's uh let me just double check this one. so this is how you get it get route param event and whatever param we want so here i'm gonna say get route param pass the event object and i'm looking for slug this one over here okay let's just double check yep right now we don't need to use this because we are asking it what we want okay now here what we need to do is we could use use fetch instead of use async data and Take this from here oops this one over here let's take this from here and we could say api blocks and we can also pass the page number if needed if we are using pagination but the key will be this one over here we can also use use fetch and we could say api blogs slug and here key will be block slug or we can just pass the slug like this okay now let's give this a try again so we go back over here reload this so we say article not found because there's some problem here so let's see what's the problem so we didn't import virtual helper so let's import this also let's import this over here so this is imported here that's great 
and there we have it our blog article that's great let's see if 404 work perfect 404 works as well so we can go back and see if all the blog articles work there we have it click on this and there we go perfect great so now that our error is resolved let's also format this date so this one over here so i'm currently installing day.js so that should have been installed great and then we could use day.js and then just format it so here i could provide the date so all we have to do is get day.js and then here we could say day.js and then format it using this now ideally we should use a computer property so we can pass these details so what i'm going to do is something like this let's say go back over here and i'm going to call it meta details dot view so what i'm going to do here is we paste set up get these from here put it over here and to these ones i'm going to say const meta details or actually we can pass the meta details so i'm going to say const props equal to define props item meta like this and then computer property const date publish equal to computed and then i can pass this one over here get dejs and this will be item meta like this and then simply we can have that blog meta details item meta and we can pass the meta details here like this and also we can make this item meta so this would be date published and this will be props dot item meta perfect let's go back over here reload the page somehow that's not coming up so let's see what's the problem uh yes this should be props dot item meta dot date published yes, this should be just date published like this sorry i don't know why it came with the quotes and i just added this defensive mechanism that if there's no date published then just return and if we go back and there it is we have the date published perfect and also add max site on next image so that let's go more, no more than 500 pixel and there it is or actually let's try the aspect ratio so aspect ratio of 16 by 9 does this work that seems to be okay so let's keep this aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and that looks good so next we will need to add here a component down somewhere here to get some reviews and just post the reviews